Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how to look up for our worksheet on the internet. First, I'm going to type this and then I'm going to choose this link and then click. Click Great 2 Worksheet 6 and Telling Time. Okay, now we're going to click Great 2 Telling Time. The last thing we're going to click is Worksheet 6. So let me do that right now. There it is, Worksheet 6. Click on that. And here it is. You can print out. Print, you can print this out and then do the work. And then I'm going to print this out later. Hello. Okay, I've printed this out already. And now I'm going to teach you how to do this work. Okay, first you grab your pencil or pen or anything. And then let's start with this one. Okay, so see it says one one o'clock so it means you need to put the hour hand just at the one and then you put the minute hand at the 12 just like that because why because the hour hand shows the first number and then 12 it shows zero zero so you put the minute hand on to the 12. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, this is a little bit harder. So it says it's 1230. It means the 12 needs to be like in the middle of um, the 12 and the 1. So now we're going to put the hour hand just right over here. that done and then now we're gonna put the minute hand right to the six because it's because it's 12 30 because if you can see these are five graduations okay five graduations is equal to five minutes so this is like 5 10 15 25 eh, wait 20 and then 25 and then of course 30 so you put it right here. Okay, and then on to the next one. Now we're gonna do 530. Almost the same as 12, but just 5. Okay, now we're gonna put the hour hand to the 5. It's like in the middle of 6 and 5. And then you put the minute hand right at a six. Okay, so that is 5.30. On to the next one. Now this is pretty easy. Okay, let's move it upwards. Okay, this is pretty easy. It's just eight o'clock. So you put the hour hand to the eight, and then you put the minute hand to the 12. See, it's pretty easy, right? Okay, now moving. Now, this is, tw this is 12 o'clock. Pretty easy with that, but the arrows need to be both on the 12. So, it's a little bit hard. So, first, you draw the minute hand. Then, draw the arrow thing. And then, you put another one to the 12 as well. Because it's 12. And then now on to the next one. 430. It means four and a half. So let's put the arrow right in the middle of five and four, but closer to four. And then you put the 30 onto the six. Just like the 530 last time and the 1230. Okay.
Okay, now let's do this second sheet. Okay, now it's a little bit different, as you can see. It has the arrows of the clock already, but there are no numbers. So let's do this together. This is a little bit of a hard, uh, hard level. So let's start with number one. Okay, as you can see, look, the minute hand is right here. So what did I say? From two to three, if it's like this, is five graduations. So as you can see, there are one, two, three, and uh, this three dots. So it means it's two to three. Okay, now let's see. Of course, you know, it's going to be six o'clock. And then this is 12 to 12, two until to the number two, which is 10. 10 plus another three dots equals 30. So it doesn't mean it's like just 610, but it's 613 because you can see the dots. Because the dots have three graduations. So it means three minutes more. So let's write six o'clock in 13 minutes. Okay, next one. Okay, wait, actually this is three o'clock because I was confused a bit. It was like almost touching the four, so yeah, never mind. It's three. 43 so let's write it because it is three graduations more than the eight so it's 343 so let's write that okay on to the next one okay now as you can see, it's a little bit weird because all the hands are at 12. It means it's about 12 o'clock. But as you can see, it's not really at the 12. Because it's really right here. It's like one more graduation further than um, than the 0, 0 at the 12. So as you can see, one graduation, it means it is about 11.59 because it's not uh, because it's not touching because I know it touches the 12 but if it's still here it means it's 1159 I know it's a little bit weird but that is right it's 1159 so let's write it okay on to the next one Okay, now let's start here. Okay, as you can see, this arrow is really, really touching the six. Like, yeah, I think it's supposed to be like, I think it's supposed to be like seven and a half so because it's like really at the six. So let's do that. It is gonna be seven and a half. Let's write that, 7.30. Okay, right. The next one. So this is pointing at the nine, and this is pointing at the two. So it means it is two forty-five. Let's write that. This one is actually showing at a 6. I know it looks like it's showing at a 7, but actually, no, because it's not really quite touching the 7, and it's not showing the number 12 yet. So it means it's 6. It means it's 656, because it's one graduation further than 55. So let's write 656. Yeah, that's right. On to 
onto the next one. Now, as you can see, it looks like it's about uh, like it is about like ten nothing, but it's actually nine fifty nine because it's not touching the twelve. It's just pointing at the one graduation further, um, less further than the twelve. So it means it's about nine fifty nine. I know it looks like it's 10 o'clock, but it's actually 9.59, so that's right it. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, so as you can see, it, it, it does look like really, this is a minute hand, but actually that's now, why do I write something there? Okay, wait. Okay, now, as you can see, it looks like it's, about 11 and a half but it's actually 11 29 because it's one graduation less further than uh, 11 and a half so let's write 11 29 okay now I'm going to show you the answer this answer is 6 13 and this is 3 43 and this is 11.59 to the next one. Now this is 7.30. And this is 2.45. And this is 7.49. On to the next one. And this is 6.56. And this is 9.59. And this is 11.29. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching my video. Bye.